I continued to wipe the blood with my soaked and overused paper towel from the bathroom, sitting in one of the overstuffed chairs in the lobby. I could hear the romantic music and the chattering of family and friends from the hall. I pulled all the pins out of my hair and shook it back into its free position, or as free as it could from the heavy spring from hours before. I stared into the red carpet as drops of my blood soaked in. My head hurt from all the hurting. How are Ariana and Daryl going to explain the blood on Mommy's dr wedding dress when their kids asked later? I shuddered at the thought. But they weren't going to forget me. I may have been banished from their circle of friends, but my mark was left there, and no amount of denial was going to erase me. I jerked back a little when I saw a white handkerchief in front of my face. I looked up at the person before I took it. For a freak I knew in high school, you're pretty twisted, Barry said flatly. I looked at him for one more second before wiping my nose a little more. The blood flow was beginning to slow down. Yeah, well, I think we've all shocked ourselves at some point in our lives, I said, wiping my face. Barry stood over me for a minute. You know, Ariana's right, Barry said finally. What you did was sick and twisted. I can't believe you publicly humiliated her in front of all those people. I looked away from him. Chauvinist or not, I always hated it when he was right. He reached over and made me face him again. I had no idea his hands were that soft. But I think you were right to tell her the truth, Barry said. It was sick what you did. But it was even sicker to think that she was going to spend the rest of her life lying to Daryl like that. I lowered my eyes, feeling the pain seeking into my heart after getting past the shock of the experience. I know, I said in a low voice. I couldn't hold it in anymore. God, Barry. I wasn't even the one who cheated and was driving me crazy keeping the secret in. How could she do that? How could she have found it so easy to keep the truth from him and just be so okay with it? It doesn't make sense, Barry. Barry didn't look like he knew what to do. We'd never really been close, and to hear me spilling out feelings like that to him must have been really more than he knew what to do with. Barry and I just existed together in that lobby, knowing we were there with each other but not truly enjoying it. Then he sighed. He began to walk off. Matt? I heard him whisper. I looked up and saw Matthew down the hall pacing. I stood up. God, that worried look again. I began to take my first step when I saw the bloody gown slip out quietly, trying not to be seen. She closed the door behind into the, wall, into the hall and faced Matthew. Barry pulled me by the arm and we hid behind a wall that looked into the hallway where Matthew and Ariana stood together. Barry and I slowly inched forward until the corners of our eyes reached the edge of the wall. Matthew was the first to speak. Jason? You slept with Jason? Matthew demanded. Ariana put her hands up, almost to calm him. Matthew, it didn't mean anything to me, she whispered hastily. It was just one of those things that happened. Sex doesn't just happen, Matthew argued. You make a choice of whether or not you have sex with someone unless you're raped. You don't like to enjoy the fuck out of yourself. Matt, please, Ariana begged. Please calm down. Please, you have to believe me. I don't like Jason in that way. I never have. Even from the distance at which I stood, I could see the tears sparking in his eyes. How do I know that, Ariana? What Matthew whispered. How do I know that you never really loved Jason? Ariana stood there for a second, letting Matthew cry. There was something in my heart that cried for and with him like it never did before. I love you so much, Matt, I felt inside of me. I'd never make you cry like that. Ariana reached into the bust of her wedding dress. My eyes squinted in confusion as she took the object out. I felt every cell in my body rebelling, screaming at levels only my heart could hear at what I was seeing. I prayed to God to not let what I thought I was seeing be what I was really seeing. I kept it close to my heart like I promised I would, Ariana said, my leather string necklace with the white shell moon, full moon dangling from her fingers. I held on to it ever since that night. I promised that I would always love you. So now you believe me? I stood away from the wall and I felt my knees disappear from underneath me. Barry held me up by my armpits as I controlled the sobs that threatened to tear my whole body apart. I didn't have a camera. My only witness was my enemy from high school who was now the one holding me up when I couldn't stand. Daryl was going to forgive her if I said anything. You dare! I said!
screen. You cheating bitch! You lying whore! You disgusting, lying, conniving little slut! Barry's arms remain linked on the mine as security ran by, pulling us toward the exit. It was the last time I'd see her that day. I will never forget that smirk, filled with triumph that she threw at me as she held on to Matthew's body. Little do they know he was gay the whole time. I know! <laughs> oh my god, I know! <laughs>